Hello all, this video is on how to remote desktop with Raspberry Pi using Tiger VNC server. Here we will be using Raspberry Pi as uh, headless mode using your own laptop's screen and keyboard for Raspberry Pi. Always use Raspberry Pi image to write the OS. Select the hardware as a Raspberry Pi 5 and then the OS has 64 bit latest operating system and select the storage as um, that is always use uh, class 10 type uh, SD card for writing the OS and click on next next to select the customization settings very important is under services enable the SSH protocol that is a secured shell protocol and from general tab uh, provide the uh, host name let us use the default host name Raspberry Pi and then username and password for demo I am using the default password as Pi and uh, pos uh, default username pi and password as raspberry and then configure the wireless lan use uh, your provide your ssid and uh, password so that the raspberry pi will auto connect on board and then set the local settings and click on s to write the settings so the raspberry pi image will start uh, writing the operating system it will take some time here we are using Raspberry Pi 4G5, Raspberry Pi 5, 4GB RAM and always use a cooler with heat sink while using the Raspberry Pi 5 as uh, it is power hungry, always it will heat up like uh, uh, like any other model, it will heat up like anything so always without using this uh, heat sink and fan do not use Raspberry Pi 5. And let us uh, plug in the SD card where we have written the operating system using Raspberry Pi image. Plug in the SD card and then provide the power source. Always use official power source more than 3 amps. Here I am using the Raspberry Pi 4 power source, uh, official power source. Plug in the C cable and press the uh, power button twice. You can see the green LED blinking indicating that the operating system is booting up, booting up. Wait for some time and then open the PuTTY window. This is the SSH client. Uh, select as SSH and then provide the host name as Raspberry Pi as we have used the default host name. Use that host name to log in the SSH. Now log in as Pi and then the password is Raspberry which uh, the default we have used. Now you can see the SSH uh, login pi at Raspberry Pi. Let us know the uh, IP address that is allotted to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Use host name space hyphen capital I. Now it will return the IP address which is 192.168.1.8. This is uh, allotted by the router. This is local IP address. Now let us uh, enable the VNC open sudo raspi config and then go to vnc and then enable vnc now the vnc server is enabled and it will start running no need of a reboot just finish now the vnc server is running for vnc client let us use tiger vnc on your window windows machine go to tiger vnc and then go to the project download page github page download the latest tiger vnc uh, client this windows client server is running on the raspberry pi client is running on the windows machine install the tiger vnc viewer and then open the tiger vnc viewer it will ask for the uh, vnc server uh, ip address which is the ip address we have found recently that is using the host name i for i use that ip address or you can use the raspberry pi uh, a name also host name also you can use now it last for the username and password provide the default username pi and raspberry pi now you can get the uh, raspberry pi screen on your windows machine at the right hand side you can see the uh, that is wi-fi is uh, connected automatically as you have uh, used the uh, wlan settings using the raspberry pi image it connects to automatically and under uh, internet you can open the firefox 
it will be displayed properly. Previously while using RDP we found some video errors while enabling Firefox but in this uh, uh, Tiger VNC everything is fine. Thank you for watching.